Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, what are the types of taxes that U.S. citizens pay? What are the types of taxes that U.S. citizens pay? First, let me define what a tax is. A tax is generally an involuntary fee levied on individuals or corporations that is enforced by a government entity which local and regional or national in order to finance government activities and economics. Taxes fall on whomever pays the burden of the tax, whether this is an entity being taxed, like a business, or in customers of business goods. Now, utilizing business, let's take them for instance. Basically, businesses must pay a variety of taxes on a company's physical, location, ownership, structure, and nature of the business. Business taxes can have a high impact on the profitability of business and the amount of business investment. Taxation is very important in the factor of financial investment decision-making process because a lower tax burden allows the company to lower prices or generate higher revenue. And if you do that, you can pay out wages, salaries, and dividends. And this is where you can get raises as well. One of the reasons why companies don't give a lot of raises because of the high corporate tax rate of 40%. So businesses may be required to emit the following types of taxes. And not just businesses, but some of the types of taxes we all hear of whether you are a business or an employee. Basically, the first tax is a progressive tax. It's known as the federal income tax. That's a tax levied by national government on annual income. Then you have the state and or local income tax. That's a tax levied by state government on annual income. Not all states have implemented state-level income taxes. Texas, Florida, and Arizona, to name three of the states, don't levy any state income tax. Oh, let's add Delaware to make a fourth state that doesn't levy any income tax. The third type of tax is what we call a payroll tax. That's when an employer withholds and or pays on behalf of their employees based on the wage or salary of the employee. In most countries, that includes the United States, both state and local authorities collect some form of payroll tax. Now, in the United States, Social Security and Medicare, also called FICA, make up the payroll tax. Now, you have another tax. It's called an unemployment tax. That's a federal tax that is allotted to state unemployment agencies to fund unemployment assistance for laid-off workers. Sales tax or it could be called a consumption tax when you're buying goods and services from a grocery store, auto shop, buy a car. But basically a sales tax is imposed by the government at the point of sale on retail goods and services. It is collected by the retailer and passed on to the state. Now state tax is based on a percentage of the selling prices of the goods and services and it's set by the state. Technically, consumers pay sales tax, but effectively, businesses pay them since the tax increases consumers' cost and causes them to buy less. And you have a foreign tax. And that's basically an income tax paid to a foreign government on income earned in that country. And we don't use it here Basically, York uses. It's called a VAT tax, and that's a national sales tax collected at each stage of production or consumption of a good. Depending on the political climate, the taxing authority often exempts certain necessary living items such as food, medicine, from the tax. Now, one thing to tell you about taxes as well, depending on what state you live in. As you know, the federal income tax is a progressive tax with the lowest rate 10%, the highest rate 
39.5%. And usually at the end of the year, you take your income or your taxes from your federal income tax, which is increment, incremental. That's right, it's incremental. You take the incremental number that you got from adding all of your incremental taxes together and you divide that by your annual salary and you get your marginal tax rate. This is what happens when you hear the vernacular, I'm in a 25% tax bracket. Well, taxes aren't in brackets. Taxes are in marginal rate and they're incremental. This is why you also have a standard deduction so you don't get taxed twice. Now, if you have a company, companies particularly such as a C corporation get taxed twice. You have the corporate tax and you have the dividend tax. So if you're going into business, I want you to hear this video. If for tax purposes, the best entities you should use when you first start out are either LLC or a S corporation. Now, an S corporation is basically passed through taxation. The company pays the tax, but the one who has the dividends, it's passed to them, the shareholders. That's called passed through taxation. Basically, you have the same thing with an LLC, except as an LLC, you don't have to have shareholders. Now, there has been some debate on the tax code to going more toward a flat tax. It's always been in the air. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if you look at some of the states, I live in Indiana, I lived in Pennsylvania, they have flat taxes. It works. Basically, when it comes to tax money, a lot of it does get wasted. Government is a big entity. And the tax money not only is used for the government services, it's also used as government revenue. That's why when it comes to a bad economy, a government employee is never going to be hungry. The reason why, the government's never going to run out of business because it's going to constantly extract taxes from the people who are working. Is that a good thing? Well, again, I just mentioned it before that income tax is involuntary. Not voluntary. Some people think it's voluntary. No, it's involuntary. You have to pay income taxes. If you don't, you can go to jail for tax evasion, and that's a felony. So don't let anybody tell you that you don't have to pay taxes. Now, if there's something that says you don't have to pay taxes, please leave it under my video in the comment section, and I'll research that article thoroughly, and I'll get some answers myself. But I want everybody to know that income taxes, you must pay income taxes every year. Now, here's the thing I do want to tell you. When you deal with any type of income tax, you must fill out a tax form every year, whether it's a 1040, whether it's a, a SF40, that's a state form. But what you do is you take your W-2s at the end of the year and you have your annual gross income and what you're trying to do with that is utilizing the deduction and the standard deduction changes every year I don't know what it is for 2016 but you have the standard deduction in place so you're not taxed twice then there are other means like head of household earn income credit you also have itemized deductions and businesses use those 
to write a lot of expenses off. Even bad debt is an expense. But at the end, you have to understand that taxes are basically used to fund the United States government. Without the services of government, we can't help people who are in need. Now, some other entities that are funded with government money are your state colleges and universities. You also have your federal agencies, your state DOTs. Now, your state DOTs are funded by uh, what we call a fuel tax and taxes on driver's licenses. You know, when you buy a car, you have tax tags and title. Well, the tax on your tags and your title when you buy that car, that goes for the roads in your home state. A consumption tax. Again, a consumption tax is basically a break off of your sales tax. When you go into a store or a retailer and you buy goods, you're taxed on those goods. That's what that consumption tax is. So utilizing all of the taxes that I have given you to sum up this video, taxes are used to pay for government services, no matter if you're a business or an individual. Taxes are used to fund the government. This is where the government gets its revenue. Now, there's a contradiction on that because governments are not supposed to have any revenue because they're not for profit. But we call taxes funding the government and government does have revenue. Now, there are certain agencies like the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, known as the PTC, that's quasi-government. They are allowed to make profit because they are what we call a private public entity. If you look at their organizational structure, they have a CEO and department heads, but your state and local municipalities and even the United States is also a corporation. Now, there's one city I can tell you about and I'm from, it's called Columbia, Maryland, that is not an incorporated municipality or city because the Howard County funds Columbia, Maryland because Columbia, Maryland has no mayor, doesn't have its own police force. In other words, it's not self-sufficient. But Howard County is self-sufficient because it has a county exec, county board. Public schools and education are also funded by taxes as well. So if you look at a breakdown of the types of taxes, money does get wasted, but it's supposed to go to fund all of the entities that we use from the social aspect to help us. It's supposed to help us get an education with financial aid because the Board of Education, which is on a federal level, gets tax money, and this is where they're able to issue out financial aid to colleges. Colleges and university, non-for-profit, they're supposed to get tax money from the taxpayers as well. This is why a lot of students like myself, I was a student. I want to see where my tax money is going because there are a lot of professors who make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And there are sites that you can find out what government employees are making. That is public information. I don't know the website, but it's always good to find out where your money is going because as a taxpayer, you work hard for your money. The funny thing about it, politicians love to raise taxes, but they don't want to lower taxes. But in the end, you have to look at it. There's some programs that need to be cut, 
there are some programs that don't need to be cut. But at the end, I just wanted to educate you on the types of taxes and what tax money is used for. And that's it for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show for Sunday, January 15th, 2016. You can tune into the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show every Monday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. If you like my video, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't get into the emotional or the controversial or social issues, nor do I participate in drama and or unnecessary bickering. On this channel, I'm here to educate you by giving you the tools to help you make decisions in the real world. So, what I'm providing you is theory and application to help you find more information as a young child or a teenager or even a young adult, someone who hasn't been out in the real world yet, when I give you the tools based on what I've experienced, you can also train people to understand how the real world works because a lot of us don't understand the real world. And in college or in public school, we're always taught theory. Theory is good, but I'm trying to teach you how to apply it. So I keep everything realistic but positive because I want you to know that knowledge is power. And if you have a business or a topic that you would like for me to discuss on Blog Talk Radio or YouTube, just email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave it in the comment section under my video. But make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating or pettifogging if you wish to opine. That's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed night. Good night.